Okay, so today we are going to learn how to find p-values for the t-distribution using Excel. Um, so, um, in my opinion, the best method for calculating a p-value for the t-distribution is to use Excel. Excel comes with built-in functions that we can type into our one of the cells to rapidly compute the p-value. And just as a reminder, p-value th does not mean proportion. There are two different concepts. So let's take a look at our first example. It tells us that the test point t is 2.34, the test is right-tailed, n is 12 and we want to calculate the p-value. So to do this, uh, we have to use the right tail area function for the t-distribution. Um, so if you recall, degrees of freedom is always n minus 1. So in this example, degrees of freedom is 11. And our test point is 2.34. So we would use the right tail function. So to type in the right tail function, you type t.distribution.rt. And we include parentheses. The first value of our parentheses will be 2.34, which is the test point. Put a comma. The second value is our degrees of freedom, 11 close the comma and then you hit enter and we have the p-value let me extend it out so the p-value and I'll just highlight that in a, in red uh, not red let's choose um, how about gray slight gray so the p-value for this problem is 0.0196 Now, what if we have another example? Let's say our example, um, our test point is now negative 3.12. The test is left-tailed. N is 12. Actually, N is 9. And we want to compute the p-value. So our very first step is we compute degrees of freedom. That's 9 minus 1, and that is equal to 8. And since the test is left-tailed, we would use this formula here, T distribution. So we always enter the function with the equal sign. We type T dot distribution. Our test point value is negative 3.12, comma, degrees of freedom is 8. Close our parentheses. And here they're asking for cumulative. So you would just put true for this function. And we get the 0 .0071. So just remember, when you're using the regular t distribution, they may ask for cumulative, so you want to use true. And so the p-value is 0 0.0071. And finally, our third example is t is 2.08, but now the test has two tails. n is 24. Once again, we compute degrees of freedom. 24 minus 1, 23. To calculate our p-value, we use our third function. We type equals t dot distribution dot two tails dot, actually not a dot in the last one, we just put parentheses. Our test point is 2.08 comma 23 and we have the p-value for two tails. And so now we're able to use the p-values to compare 
with uh, your given alphas to determine whether we reject or do not reject H0. So this is just an example of where to use or how to use uh, Excel to compute p-values for the t-distribution. Have a great day or evening. Take care.